it's Jessie K. I had a comment on my video where I was showing you how I store all of my nail polishes and when I opened a drawer I said that that's where I store my backup polishes so the comment was from Kahlo0806 I believe um I may have messed up the numbers I hope not but the first part was Kahlo um saying hey show us your backup polishes please <laughs> so I'd love to I didn't think that's anything something um I didn't think that was anything someone would want to see so yeah hopefully you all like Kahlo's comment and yeah I will show you my backups <laughs> left hand will always be used one left hand use one right hand I'm grabbing from this section where they're the the backups okay kind of glaze too hot to handle too 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 hot to yeah too yacht to handle this is gonna go great <laughs> this is a definite favorite of mine when I first got it I was like okay I'm gonna get gonna get a second one there are some uh, backups in here I have that have been gifts or things from swaps that I've kept. This is something I bought these both myself because this color is fantastic. In keeping with Chang Glaze, Flip Flop Fantasy. Just a gorgeous bright color here. Yeah, I. you can see why I have a backup of this. is needed because it's so dang pretty. <laughs> Going over to the indie side of things with Frankenstein Polish. Yes, it's Frankenstein, not Frankenstein. The end of the movie. <laughs> um, Lycan Beware. It's such a really pretty polish and it freaking glows in the dark and it's beautiful. So I think I ended up buying like three of these and I gave one of them to my bestie because I'm a good friend. <laughs> Julep Brandt. I used to collect a lot of juleps. This one it's used like to about here. Um, yeah, and I still have a brand new one. It's still in its plastic wrapping and everything. Um, this really pretty dark gray color that is just gorgeous to do with nail art. I don't use my juleps very much anymore and um, I really put them down after. They just, it was obvious that they were photoshopping the hand model's skin colors. Like, they had a lighter skinned uh, hand model where they'd photoshop her to be darker and they had a darker hand model where they were photoshopping her to be all kinds of different colors lighter. It, was the, it made me feel so uncomfortable because nail polishes, including people who like photoshop like lips, like people like skin and lipsticks and things like that, polishes look different against every skin tone, like we all know that. So if you're photoshopping someone's skin color, which is freaking weird and how cheap do you have to be to say that you're only gonna use two models they said that I'm um, okay I'm I'm ranting I'm ranting but they give crappy excuses for something weird and that's what, now I understand why I don't use my juleps as much back to what this video is about my back of polishes now I know the name of this polish has been controversial it is um, American Apparel Hasid and uh, I researched more into why people were upset whenever I'd use this polish, and it's, there's really interesting information out there. Um, yeah, I don't know why American Apparel chose to give it this name, but it's an absolutely beautiful polish, and it's one of my favorite one coater blacks, so that's why I ended up buying another one. And yeah, this one has really just not let me down, including the water marbling. It just has an amazing formula all around. Okay, I'm about at the halfway point. Color Club Blooming! with no labels <laughs> I probably wrote that like four or five years ago but isn't this such a beautiful polish yeah I bought backups this one is only you can see like where I've used it to <laughs> yeah it's not that much but I still bought a backup because it's a gorgeous color and just start picking this up again I used to use color clubs a lot but I've been into more like the creamy um, indie polishes lately so I should go back to some mainstream mainstream creams sometime show them some love is really it really is pretty I just realized I've been keep I keep holding up my hands and I haven't mentioned what nail polish I'm wearing today um it's something I've been wearing for a few days um Darcy my bestie she gave me um ILNP I love nail polishes the magician and it's one like I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I still haven't been able to photograph it it shifts from like orange to green and it is freaking magical it's a topper it's just one coat on top of a black polish and I use heroin NYC's black polish uh, the clubs look at that beyond does it yeah yeah oh eternal beauty <laughs> beyond the black hollow I think so this one was really pretty linear hollows this was one that um see look you see 
I've been trying to shake these <laughs> before we start filming because they've just been sitting there. This was a gift that I got from Mia, who um, is the former creator. Well, she's a current creator, but she used to create the polishes for B Squared Lacquer. And she was like, well, if you if it's a dupe, like, you can just give it away to somebody and not a dupe. If it's a, another one of the same one, I lost my words, then you can give it away. But I was like, no, I'm going to keep this as a backup for sure because it's yeah it's beautiful and i just hoard nail polish obviously <laughs> i'm seriously so happy about this comment these aren't the same polish thanks for this comment carlo this is really fun that's one of my favorite parts about doing this is you guys really help me out um new ways to talk about nail polish and gush about it and <laughs> show you how much of a crazy person i am what video was i doing the last time i talked about creative fantasy was it my oh nail polishes that are so neat that's what it was my favorite color is purple and i love dark colors so these these dark colors just like yeah they're so me and so yeah no surprise that i have two of these and lastly for the polishes that i have dupes of i think i have the right one where you gotta peek there is essie's sunday fun day is that gonna be right set up? Holy crap, I put it right set up. Yeah, really pretty, really, really pretty. This is another one where I think Darcy got me a second one and I was like, well, I'm keeping it. It's a pretty color. And I haven't used it as much as I'd like to. I really, ugh, there's so many polishes. Um, I need to use what I have, but it's so hard when I'm getting PR mail because I'm just like, oh, more things to play with. And then I forget about everything else that I have. And I have dupes of these. I mean backups. I keep saying dupes. I have backups. <laughs> okay, so I have an extra category for this. Um, backups are I didn't realize I had already used the original one, the one before. I don't know, but I was looking through the, my backup drawer and I came across um, OPI's Nail Envy base coat and Julep Morgan. I swear I used to own three of these. I sold the second backup when I had this huge D-stash. Guys, I sold 300 and something nail polishes on Periscope over a couple of days. It was traumatizing and exciting because I actually de-stashed over 300 polishes. Can you believe that? <sighs> it's so, I still miss some of those. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I sold uh, one of those and then I finally like used that to where it was goopy, the, the original one. So I had three. Um, I can't find the, the, the goop one. I guess I threw it away um, because this was in the back of the drawer and it shouldn't be anymore. I guess this one's graduating and Nail Envy's graduating as well. Um, it's something where I haven't used it um, as a base coat in a really long time because it made my nails a little too hard and they started to um, chip. They just didn't bend whenever they like it smacks something. Um, so another thing where like Corinne Muckingfusser, water marbling extraordinaire, um, taught a lot of us in the nail community that Nail Envy is an amazing clear nail polish to water marble with. And so that's why I keep these around. I found them for like, really like cheap on sale at like like a Marshalls I think or TJ Maxx for like almost half the price of what they usually are so I bought a whole bunch of them gave them away in giveaways they came with a cute little like bracelet and I kept a bunch for myself so apparently yeah these are graduating they're the backups aren't the backup anymore you've, you've done me well <laughs> Kalo, thank you so much again for your comment. Really, I love every time that you guys comment because look, it's turned into like an entire video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you liked it. It was really fun talking about all these. So I need to, I need to get those together and put them in the correct places. So please wish me luck. It's gonna be, it's gonna be. A, I don't know. I hope. I, I think I kept the piles right. <laughs> um, hopefully, I will see you in my next video. You will see me. Please come back. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Bye.